Alright guys, welcome to my newest playthrough of Spongebob Squarepants, of Spongebob Squarepants the movie video game, and um, I like this game a lot, and I didn't really have an introduction planned for this, welcome. but um, basically I'm going to be finishing up the game, finishing the game's main storyline. I don't think I'll be getting all the Goofy Goober tokens, which is what the, like, in the, your Goofy Goober tokens are basically equivalent to the Golden Spatulas in Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom, so that's what you need to know so far for this game. And, um, what else should I say? Oh yeah, okay, so this game is really similar to Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom. It has weird really little cutscenes in the middle, and, um, you know, it's... The same type of gameplay, you kill enemies to get certain points, only in this it's not shiny objects, but manliness points. And you probably noticed already in the top right corner there's a meter that fills up as you get more and more objects. And basically the more of these manliness points you get, the more you can upgrade. So right now if you press the select button, you can see your different abilities so far. And you see that there are three spots that have question marks in them. And if you see this, this is an extra, and if you get extras, you'll unlock different things, like movie trailers, um, well, movie trailers are pretty outdated, but, I mean, you'll still get them. You'll get movie trailers, you get little add-ons, like, you know, you can make Spongebob look orange, or you can make Patrick naked, things like that. So, and they have the same combo system as before. If you destroy a bunch of things at once, you'll get a certain number of extra manliness points. Um, and basically, your, your only use for manliness points is to upgrade. You're not going to be using them to open like doors or to feed a clam. You're just going to be, you know, using them to upgrade. So that's really it. But they still have the same <coughs> sponge jumping thing in the other game. Um, things, they kind of refined stuff in this game a bit more. They made stuff a bit more apparent. Like, if you didn't know what to do here, and you keep on running around here, not knowing what to do, Mindy will chime in saying, you can break through some weak objects. So you hit the attack button, and you break through it. So at this point, you fall down, you know, get some of this stuff here. And, as you can see, I just got a, there's a little P next to the, thing next to the manliness meter and that shows that I just got a new point which is pretty cool and that's it and I'm out of time now